Okay. So, we're going to get two problems done, maybe three, and then we're going to go to lunch. There's a whole bunch in this section, but honestly, this actually, this section right here that we're doing might be the most important thing that we've done so far. We're going to evaluate exactly the sine of 150 degrees. This really isn't that big of a deal because you had to do this on your quiz. One of them was um, cosine 45. Somebody had to find out one of the quizzes that was cosine 45. So what did you do when you have to find the cosine or the sine or something of the angle? You draw a picture of it, right? Here's the difference. Today, it's not going to be in quadrant one. Because if we remember how our angles are labeled, Remember how our angles are labeled in math? This way. 150 would be over here. First of all, make sure that makes sense to you. Between 90 and 180, that's where 150 is. Now, you still need a triangle, so you're still going to make that butterfly bow tie we talked about. This is the key, right here where my finger is. How big is that angle? 30 degrees. Boys and girls, there's no magic there. You have to use your problem solving skills. If that's 150 and this is 180, do you understand why that's 30? Now, this is one of your special triangles. Across from the 30 is one. Across from the 60 is root three and the hypotenuse is two. Just like before. We just have it drawn in a different quadrant. And because it's in a different quadrant, you have to worry about negatives. The hypotenuse is never negative. But what about these guys? Are either one of these negative? Both of them negative? No. Mm, I mean both of them. I think just this one. This is x left. Here's the origin. Left is negative. Now, we want the sign. What sign? Sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So the answer is one half. One more, and we'll go to lunch. Cotangent, five pi over three. Well, what might you want to do with that guy to get started? Well, be careful. We want to change it into degrees probably, don't we? So, pi over 3 is 60, and 5 of those is 300. So, this is really the cotangent of 300 degrees. Now, you can do it in radians if you're comfortable working in radians, but most of us are more comfortable with our triangle in degrees. All right, where's 300? Remember how the setup is. You start here and you go this way. So where's 300 going to be? Quadrant four. Here's 300. Would everybody agree with that, that that's 300 degrees? Remember, we start measuring right here, all the way around. Make your butterfly bow tie triangle. This is root 3, this is 1, and this is 2, because I have that memorized. But any time I draw a picture that's not in quadrant 1, there have to be negatives somewhere. So which of those numbers is negative? Just the root 3. This will never be negative. The hypotenuse is never negative. I want cotangent. What's cotangent? Adjacent over opposite. It's the reciprocal of the tangent, so it's adjacent over, adjacent over opposite. 
So that would be 1 over negative root 3 or negative root 3 over 3. All right. Good, very good one. There are lots to remember there. We will pick up there. Um, I need you back in your seats at 50. Back in your seats at 50, folks. Do not be late.